All right, greetings. This is a video on creating and re importing a test bank into a Maya Maranatha course. And this can be very useful for um, your courses in Mar Maya Maranatha for automating your tests and quizzes, creating uh, question pools for your exams and unit tests. And it's a little bit of a lengthy process, so I'm going to make a couple of videos on it. But once you have it done, it's really uh, fantastic and it saves a lot of time. And so, um, some of our publishers of our textbooks like Pearson will provide a test bank um, or y you as a teacher can create your own test bank and uh, that works as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through how to uh, put that into a My Maranatha course once you have it created and so uh, the plan is that uh, we're going to create a test bank and it needs to be in Word format, Microsoft Word and then we're going to convert that over to a rich text document which is pretty easy uh, then we're going to import that document to a program called exam view which is a free program that you have to get off of uh, the internet somewhere I'll show you how to do that but exam view is an important aspect of the uh, process and uh, we're going to convert that um, that word document into a format that my Maranatha can understand which is uh, blackboard 7.1 and so we're going to use exam view to help us get that done uh, once we have that uh, converted, we can get that test bank into My Maranatha and start using that in, in one of our My Maranatha courses. So the benefits uh, once you have this done are that your tests and quizzes can be graded automatically and it can uh, send them straight to the grade book. And so it's very much a time saver for you as a teacher. And those tests and quiz questions can then be used to create a unit test or your final exam and it saves you a lot of time and energy doing it all automated and so uh, a third uh, benefit would be that you can then look at your test analytics a little more closely uh, the difficulty the distribution the discrimination scores of those which will be in a separate video but once you have this process automated you have a lot of power to understand your assessments much better as a instructor and so um, again a little bit of a prep here to get into the place where we can actually create these but if you'll if you'll do the work I think you will really understand and, and appreciate um, how simple it actually is uh, and uh, how much of a help it is so there's a couple prep steps for us here the first thing is that you need to go and you need to find exam view uh, and you need a certain version at 6.2.1 uh, I'm not going to take the time to download this, but there are several places where you can get exam view. The most important part is this right here, that you get at least that version or higher. And if you don't have 6.2.1 or higher, you won't be able to do some of the functions that we need to do inside our uh, management of the test. So when, when you uh, just Google search that, you'll find several places where this can be downloaded for free. Uh, many of these places are going to try and get you to download something to go along with it, but you can decline those things. So the first thing you need to do is find exam view 6.2.1. Now within that, um, with 6.2.1, you need to make sure you get two things, and that is the uh, the test uh, generator, and you're going to need the um, import utility. I'm basically just typing these out so that you can see what I'm talking about. So this is really what you need. And when you find this, it's going to include probably both of these, but you just want to check that and make sure you're getting the test generator and the import utility. You'll hear me referring to those here in the rest of uh, the tutorial here in a couple of minutes. So exam view has a ton of uses. It's a really awesome program. You can use it as a standalone uh, as a standalone test builder, you can make a test in there. You create it yourself, print it. You can print a, um, you can print the answer key. So you can do all that on paper. But we're going to use it today to make a electronic form so that we can put that into a Blackboard format and then get it into My Maranatha. And so it's a very, very powerful tool. I think you'll enjoy playing with it uh, once you get it. Uh, once you do have Exam View, it looks. Uh, kind of like this. I'll open it real quick so that you can at least see what it's supposed to look like. And once you have that program, uh, this is the the look of it. And we'll do a few more things. So it has several wizards, and uh, you can create a test bank. You can create a uh, test uh, straight from scratch and just do one test, uh, or a, a test um, open an existing bank. Uh, very very powerful tool. So that's exam view. Make sure you get 6.2.1. Uh, on that version. All right. Once you have exam view, 
Uh, I'll make another suggestion is that you, in this process, that you use Mozilla uh, instead of Chrome. There's a, a section we're going to get to in a few minutes that um, My Maranatha doesn't operate as well with Chrome. And so you may want to switch over now to Mozilla Firefox instead. Okay, so another piece of the setup in your course is that once you once you're in your course, I, I'm teaching educational psychology, so I'll pull that one up. You need to make sure over here on the left that you have a place called uh, cartridges or course cartridges. Cartridges, uh, my Maranatha or e-learning recognizes as test banks, and so if you don't have a course cartridge page, you can make one really easily. Just go to add a page, and then on this uh, on here you can title it, you know, cartridges or call it whatever you want, but the the thing you want to do is do this right here course content import and you'll notice that here it tells you this is for cartridges and for test banks and so that's the process so add a page call it course cartridges and then uh, do this as a course content import page and that will get you uh, what you need on your course to be able to have this course cartridges um, option once you have your course cartridges uh, page you're going to need to do one other thing, and that is uh, to create a place where you can upload your test banks. So I've already done this, but I'll just show you what it looks like. In your course cartridges, you need to add course content import. For every test bank you upload, you need to have a, an import section. So you'll see on this, I actually have 10... Uh, tests in here and that's the maximum by the way after you get to 10 you've got to start another page so you need to have course import options on your cartridges page and that's a pretty simple thing to do too once you have your cartridges page created go up here to options and underneath options you will see a place down here where you have the um, option actually I don't have any options more because this is full so let me go backwards here real quick and I'll go to another course cartridge page that I made I actually made course cartridges 2 because the first one got full so I'm on course cartridges uh, page number two go to options and then you'll see the choices for what you want to add so you would add a new feature to this page and in there, you're going to add just another one of these course content import sections. But once you do that, you'll then have a place where you can actually upload the test bank once you get it built. So there's a couple of uh, uh, initial steps you need to go through before you get too far along in this process. And so uh, getting a couple of those things uh, in place will speed you along in the next uh, part that's coming, which is to go ahead and create that test bank and then to upload it. Uh, once you have that, uh, once you have that course import section um, created, this is where you will then be able to upload your test banks. You'll see here I have a chapter 12 test bank, 13, uh, 14. There's 15. I have several here, so I have 15 test banks I've got in this course right now. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video, and uh, if you need to do a couple of those, a um, couple of those prep steps. This is a good time to do those, and then the next video we'll talk about how to actually create the test bank and get it into the course.